from Television City in Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. Thank you, thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. I want to tell you I've had the most exciting week. You see, I've been busy preparing for a show, uh, preparing for uh, uh, a show that I'm going to do at the uh, Ziegfeld Theater in New York City, opening February 27th for about six weeks. I open there three weeks from now, you see. And I... Um, and this is really my first appearance in New York since I was understudy in A.B.'s Irish Rose. <laughs> and that doesn't count because, you see, Rose never got sick. <laughs> but I'm really going... And first, before I go to New York, I'm going to play two weeks at, in Toronto at the O'Keeffe Theater, Toronto, Canada. And I open there February 11th. So I'm going away for a couple of months, two, three months. And I'm just so excited about it. I've got a real good show. And I was going to go to Philadelphia for, instead of Toronto. But then I decided I'd make it Toronto. It'd give me a chance to get rid of all those Canadian dimes that I'm stuck with. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Benny. I'm really so excited about Mr. going. Benny. I'm, I'm so excited. Mr. Benny, <laughs> I'm so excited. My, my name is Joe Larson, and we're visiting here from Toledo, Ohio. And it would mean a great deal to us if you'd let me take your picture with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up from the audience, I'm right in the middle of a show. But we're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> well, well, all right. If you make it quick, because okay. I have only a half hour. Sit so. right next to Mr. Benny. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Wait till the folks at home see this. They won't believe. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. My son and daughter are out in the audience, and they'd love to be in the picture. Lila, come on, come up here. <laughs> wait a minute. Look, look, right you, you, wait a minute. You it told me you just wanted a picture with your wife. Well, I, I do, but I want... Oh, you're hiding Lila, Mr. Benny. <laughs> When they get back to high school and show this picture, believe me. <laughs> I can imagine, yes. <laughs> Dorothy Sam, can you come here? <laughs> Dorothy Sam? What is this, anyway? You, you just, just wanted a picture of my brother and sister in law. I can't help it. I mean, yeah, I, we're I, staying I, with them, and it wouldn't be very nice to leave them look, out of the picture. I know, but look, Mr. Mr. Larson. Joe Larson. Larson. All right, Larson. Now, you, huh? <laughs> Oh, oh, we can't leave them out. Grandma, Grandpa, come on. Grandpa! What is this? What is this? Oh, you love her. I know I love her. I love her. Right next to Mr. Benny. Round here, Pop. That's it. Now get together. Oh, this is wonderful of you. Well, thank you. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful picture. Thank you know, it just occurred to me this minute, what? this is the first time the whole family's been together in years. Mr. Benny. What? Would you mind taking the picture? Okay, folks, thanks. Thank you. Oh. Wait till the folks at home, wait till I tell them who took this picture. <laughs> Come on, Granny. Who'd you say that man was? <laughs> <laughs> Who 
those of you, those of you who tuned in late, this is the Jack Benny program, not Life with the Larson. What was I talking about before this thing happened here? Oh, yes, I was telling you about the show that I'm going to do at the Ziegfeld Theater in New York and in Toronto, and I am really so excited. As a matter of fact, I, I get on the plane tonight, you see, and I'll be on my way east. Matter of fact, Rochester, right now, Rochester is at home packing. <laughs> Let me see if I've got everything. Mm. Slippers, smoking jacket, silk robe, one full dress suit, dinner jacket, two tuxedos, silk scarf, glove, white tie, and spats. Well, I guess that's everything. Now I better pack Mr. Benny's things. <laughs> Here's his socks and shirts. I'd better give him some more shirts. We're gonna be gone for two months. <laughs> give my regards to Broadway. Tell him that I'll soon be there. Tell everybody first I will play in Toronto, Canada, and then it's old Times Square. Oh, for heaven's sake. Rochester packed his own things first. Oh, hello, boss. Hello, Rochester. I want to tell you, I'm so excited about going away. You know, the couple that uh, rented the house for the two months, did they get here yet? Oh, they've been here for about an hour. They're upstairs getting settled. Oh, I haven't come down, will you? All right. All right. Give my regards to Broadway and tell them that I'll soon be there. <laughs> Coming down, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Hello, Don. Hi, Jack. Hi. You, know, you know, Jack, you got away from the studio before I could grab you. Now, look, as long as you're leaving, I want to pay back that $100 I borrowed from you two weeks ago. Oh, Don, you didn't have to make a trip just for that. No, no, Jack, I want oh, you to have it. I'll feel better about it. Yeah. That was silly just to make a trip just for that. You don't have to do that, Don, for heaven's sake. Of course not. I... Oh, excuse me, just one minute. Wait, oh, wait. sure. Give my regards to Broadway and tell them that I'll soon be there. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, I'd like to talk to Mr. Norton, please. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, oh, Mr. Norton? This is Jack Benny. Yes, I'd like to cancel the life insurance policy I took out on Don Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It was $100 straight life. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Jack, do you mean to say you took out an insurance policy on me just because of that little loan? Well, certainly. Oh, fine thing. I'm surprised you didn't pay a little more and get double indemnity. I was going to, but I didn't want to be tempted. <laughs> Listen, you came, Mary, you paid me back the money, now go home and let me pack. All right, Jack. Have a wonderful trip, I will. Don't you? I will. Okay. I will. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's the matter? My wife Lois is coming up the walk, and I don't want to see her. I'm going out the back way. Don, what are you talking After about? After what she did to me, I never want to speak to her again. Don, don't leave this room. Heaven's sakes. Oh, Lois. Oh, hello, Lois. Jack. Where's Don? Oh, Don. Don, please listen to me. Believe me, I didn't mean to do it. Please believe me, it wasn't my fault. Lois, it's no use. I've thought this whole thing out, and I'm going to see my attorney in the morning. Oh, no. now, Lois, I mean, what could you, what did you do? Well, Jack, it was three nights ago. Don came home unexpectedly, and, and, and there was no jello in the house. <laughs> No, 
cold jello. Was that her crime? She knows how I look forward to that fresh fruit taste of new jello gelatin. No, really, Don, it wasn't my fault. Well, the grocery store was just simply all out. Th they didn't even have jellos, two delicious new flavors lemon, lime, uh, and mixed fruit. <laughs> I don't think it's too much to ask for jello that tastes like fresh fruit picked right off a tree. You understand? <laughs> well, certainly I understand. Well, I love new jello, too. You do? Of course I do. I love that new jello even more than I love you. <laughs> then, honey, everything's all right. <laughs> Come on, let's go home, huh? Okay. Have a nice trip, Jack. Oh, I will. I will. Oh, and Jack, don't forget to... I'll eat it. I'll eat it. <laughs> all 12 flavor. <laughs> Broadway, and tell them I will soon be there. Bum, 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 bing, bum, 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 Right this way, folks. Thank you. Oh, oh, Mr. Benson. <laughs> Mrs. Benson, I'm so glad to see you again. Well, thank you, Mr. Benny. Oh, here's the, uh, the check for $300 to cover the first month's rent. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm so glad I rented this house to you. You're such a nice couple. Oh, well, know? thank you. And don't you worry about your house, Mr. Benny. We'll take just as good care of it as if it were our own. I'm sure you will. Oh, and I hope you don't mind. We plan on doing some entertaining while we're here. Oh. As a matter of fact, we've invited some of our relatives to come over. Oh, and see fine. The house is yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, incidentally, Mr. Yeah. Benny, you, yeah. you have a lovely swimming pool. Mm -hmm. uh, if you'd like, I'd be happy to put the chlorine in it for you. No, no, don't put the chlorine in the pool. It'll kill the fish. <laughs> fish in the swimming pool? We have halibut, mackerel, and rainbow trout. <laughs> see, I do it for the kids in the neighborhood. You know, they like to fish. Oh, oh incidentally, it's 50 cents if they bring their own poles. <laughs> But if they take, if they let, borrow mine, uh, they're 75. You'll remember that. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, come along, Kelvin. Fish in a swimming pool? <laughs> Curtain up. Count the house. There'll be no passes, because I am a louse. <laughs> See who that is, will you, Rochester, please? Oh, okay. Boss, this is the president and vice president of the Pasadena Fan Club. Oh, for heaven. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> the members of our fan club sent us over to wish you well on your stage show and to give you some going away gifts. Oh, gifts for me? Uh -huh. yes. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> we know you're going to Toronto and New York. Uh -huh. and it's so cold there. We want you to be sure and wear these. <laughs> Them. Oh, I see, I that's see. That's my name over your heart. <laughs> Man, that's cute. I'll sure wear these because it gets cold there, you know, in the east. It'll be real cold. And here's something else. We girls of the fan club make this ourselves. Oh, uh, what is it, honey? It's a, a little elderberry wine. Oh. We grow our own berries in the backyard, and we make the wine in the cellar. <laughs> no, you make this yourself. Yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. We find that a little nip in the evening will give you a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try this, then. Let's see <laughs> Imagine you sleep pretty good after that. <laughs> well, anyway, to change the subject, uh, how, how, how's my fan club? Oh, doing? just fine. Uh -huh. But last month we lost one of our members, Ruthie. 
Oh, Ruthie? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's not what you think. She joined the Peace Corps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ruthie joined the Peace Corps, huh? Yes. She asked to be sent to the Congo, the Belgian Congo. Why? Well, personally, we think she has a crush on Albert Schweitzer. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think we'd better be going. Oh, Dad, the Mary you didn't give him the sweater that Nellie knitted for him. Nellie? Yes. Well, she's that tall. Yes. Nellie, yes. I remember Nellie. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> 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 hey, that might happen. On the way over, some of that elderberry wine spilled on it. <laughs> well... It was a nice thought, anyway. <laughs> a thought with a hole in it. <laughs> well, thank you, just to say. Goodbye, Mr. Benny. Goodbye. Goodbye. I have a pleasant trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will. I'll have oh, a nice... Mr. Benny. What? Would you do us a favor? What's that? As the plane goes over Pasadena, would you have the pilot dip his wings? <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Goodbye, girls. He always calls us girls. Let's see. Give my regards to Broadway and say hello to Jesse Block. To Billy Rose and Bennett Surf and the guys who all buy stock. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Benny. What? I uh, I don't like to complain, but uh, my wife is going to take a bath and there doesn't seem to be any water. Oh, I meant to tell you, I had the water turned off. You see, but you can go to the water department in the morning and get them to turn it on again in your name. You see, you 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 shut off the water. And the gas, too! <laughs> well, I never heard of such a thing. Now, don't get excited. Electricity is on me. You can use as much as you want. Uh, I have to pay for the water and the gas, but the electricity in this house is free. Uh, why? We're plugged into a lamppost on the corner! <laughs> now, look, if there are any other questions you want to ask me, you'll see me later. Well, oh, all right. Okay. Rochester, see who that is, will you please? Yeah, somehow a fish in the swimming pool makes more sense now. <laughs> oh, this is a man from the travel agency. How do you do that? <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sake. You? You're with the travel agency? Who am I? <laughs> Never mind. Just give me my tickets, will you please? Oh, yes. Well, everything's in this envelope. Well, go oh, wait a minute. Don't go away yet. I want to show that everything is in order. Oh, well, very well. Here, here. Now, this is your plane ticket from Los Angeles to Toronto. Mm -hmm. This is your confirmed hotel reservation in Toronto. And that's your plane ticket to New York. Oh, wait a minute. You've only got me staying in Toronto one night. My show was supposed to play there for two weeks. Didn't you see my schedule? I also saw your show. <laughs> now, this one you didn't. I've got a great show. Now, look at it. Um, let me ask you something. Uh, did you, uh, did you have someone, did you arrange for someone to meet me at the airport when I arrive in Toronto? Oh, yes, yes. You'll be met at the airport by a car, whisked to your hotel, and after you've freshened up, you'll be taken on a scenic tour of the city. And then that evening, you'll have a lovely home-cooked dinner with my sister. <laughs> you arranged for me to have dinner with your sister? Well, I made three long-distance calls to set it up. Well, isn't that something? And I always thought you didn't like me. I don't, but she's 52 and she's desperate. <laughs> well, I don't care if she's desperate or not. I'm not going to eat with your sister. Well, are you sure? Yes. Oh, well, then I'll have to make some changes here. Why? Well, <laughs> from Toronto, I had you routed through Niagara Falls. <laughs> Now, look at What about my hotel accommodations in New York? Oh, uh, I, uh, I managed to get you something for the price that you asked, but it wasn't easy. Oh, you did, huh? Well, will I be able to see the East River there? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. I got you an outside cabin on a tugboat. <laughs> now, cut that out. <laughs> oh, 
from the cab. Yeah, well, tell them all the bags are already here. Oh, hey, uh, right hey, you can go, too, all if right. you want to. Yes. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, yes? This plane ticket from Los Angeles to Toronto. This isn't the airline I wanted. Yeah, I know. I took the liberty of putting you on a plane that goes 900 miles an hour, thanks to a new fuel they've discovered. A new fuel? What is it? Well, I don't know, but it's made by some little old ladies in Pasadena. <laughs> Our plane takes over the half hour. Well, then we better hurry up. Here you are, Rochester. Come Here, on, I'll just close this. You take the bag, take and I want to get my overcoat, because it's sure going to be cold. Get a, I better get a heavier uh, coat, too. Mr. Benny. Uh, yeah. Mr. Benny, yeah. uh, we've talked it over, and, and we've decided not to stay here. What? We want our money back. <laughs> I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Look at uh, Mr. Mr. Benson. I mean, I, uh, why don't you think it over? I, I counted on your taking the house. Wait, wait. You've turned off the water. There is no gas, and the lights don't go on until the sun goes down. Yeah. <laughs> and besides, those kids will be fishing here on weekends. It, it just isn't worth $300 a month. Well, uh, don't do anything hasty. Believe me, you'll enjoy living here. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Be there. This is too important. Look, I'll cut it to two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Well, I don't know. I, I think it might not. Well, be. I listen, and I, I'll put it back the gas. You can eat all the fish you can catch. <laughs> well, all right, Mr. Benny will stay. Okay, and you really enjoy it. Have a nice day. I will. I will. I will. Okay. Goodbye. 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 Hi. 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 Uh, this is Joe Larson, his wife. I Martha. met them. I met them. <laughs> Who did you say that man was? <laughs> Jack will be back in just a moment, but first. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed the show. You know, most of our programs are based on subject which we make up, you know, merely for the comedy that we can get out of it, you see. But what we did tonight is the truth. I actually am going east with my own big stage show, my own review, you know, with a lot of music and comedy in it, featuring Jane Morgan and quite a big cast. The next Monday, I start a two-weeks engagement at the O'Keefe Center in Toronto, and on February 27th, I open in New York City at the Ziegfeld Theater. I hope whoever can will come to the show because you'll not only enjoy it, but all the money is going to a very worthy cause. You see, if the manager of my bank in Beverly Hills can raise the deposits, he gets a free trip to Hawaii. <laughs> He needs it. He's as pale as a ghost. <laughs> and of course, with all this, Mr. Benny, I'm still going. <laughs> now, now what? So, when I explained to Grandma who you were, she got so excited. She, she just wants to come out and shake your hand. Do you want me? <laughs> no, no, of course. Grandma, uh, come on, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy to shake your hand, Mr. Benny. Well, thank you so much. Sorry I didn't recognize you, but I haven't seen you for 60 years. <laughs> yes, it was at your 39th birthday. <laughs> That's right, it was. <laughs> Goodbye. Come on, Goodbye. 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 Goodb
Uh, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, even though I'm going east, I'll still be doing my weekly television show. And next week, my guest will be the Academy Award-winning Rita Mer Insurance. Lloyd Corrigan, Frank Wilcox, Sarah Selby, and Helene Hill. The National Safety Council says seatbelts could save 5,000 lives a year. Use your seatbelt.